everybody here uh, at our studio. Uh, we're sharing this practice so that hopefully you will have an opportunity to take a few moments to stretch. You might not be able to do the whole time with us. We're going to be here for about 75 minutes. But um, if you can, take a few moments, do a few stretches with us, and keep an eye out on our Vimeo.com <coughs> page and NidiasYogaTherapy.com, our uh, website. Uh, we just want to help you get connected, stay connected, and sending our love to everybody out there. So hopefully this is streaming well, and um, enjoy. Everybody ready? Yeah. 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 All right, here we go. We're going to begin in Tadasana with the weight even between both feet. So as you stand and fall, hands and heart center. So grateful to each of you here in this space and to each of our loved ones, our family, our friends, and everyone who's supporting us. So grateful. Let's begin with one long, strong OM, followed by a silent OM. Inhale. Samasiti. Inhale, reach the arms skyward. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, gently bend the knees, hands to heart. Straighten the knees. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend, dropping your body back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to heart. Inhale, reach all the way up. And as you exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands to your thighs, hold steady. Inhale, extend. And exhale, flex round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, flex round. Inhale, extend. Exhale, flex round. One more. Inhale, extend. We lengthen the spine. Exhale, flex round. And now we're going to inhale and sweep all the way up, stretching the arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. To make it easier to get closer to the mat, we're going to widen the stance, and I'd like to step back just a little bit to give me some space. Strong to the legs. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands to thighs. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up. We're sitting back, squatting back. Inhale, reach up. I'd like to show a side profile. Exhale, squat back. Inhale, reach up so that as you're dropping back, you're still breathing. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit back. And now as we're doing this, inhale, reach up. Some of us might start to try to touch the floor. And then inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit back. See if you can touch the floor. And then inhale, reach up. And exhale, sit back. Touching the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, sit back. And as we one more. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Now we're going to put the hands down on the mat. Wide fingers and palms. Step back into our downward facing dog. Push the floor away. Breathe. One. So in this position. Breathe. Two. Just notice how you feel. Breathe. Three. At any time you can take rest. Breathe four. This practice should feel good. And breathe five. Inhale, walk the feet towards the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, breathe. Bring the hands to the thighs. Keep your gaze, eyes on something that's not moving. And inhale, sweep all the way up. <clears throat> and exhale, hands to heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach up. This Sun salutation, exhale, is therapeutic. Inhale, extend and modify, hands to the mat. And let's step back and it allows us, breathe, the opportunity, breathe, to mobilize every major joint in our body, breathe two, to strengthen, lengthen our body, breathe three, to just allow ourselves 
ourselves also to practice handstands. <laughs> our own variation, our version of a handstand, and this is definitely one of them. It's a beginning handstand. Inhale, walk the feet towards the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands to the thighs. Inhale, sweep all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart. Let's move into our standing postures. And so as you're standing tall, draw your shoulders back and down. And we're going to step the right foot forward and the left foot back. We're moving into a posture called warrior one. So in this position to show a side profile, what's happening is you've got your weight even, shoulders are back and down and weight is even between the right and the left foot. We're gonna reach the arms forward and hold and breathe and then you can reach the arms skyward. Hold steady in your position and breathe one. Breathe two. Here's the cool part about this practice. Breathe three. The only thing you have to do, breathe four, is breathe. Breathe five. Inhale and exhale, bring the hands to your heart center. Inhale and exhale, step the left foot forward to the right. And now we switch. The right foot comes back. We move into our warrior one on the left. Hold steady. Reach the arms to horizontal. I'll show a side profile. And in this position, we're breathing, finding evenness between both feet. And then we reach the arms skyward. Hold. Breathe one. Breathe two. We're working on our balance. Breathe three. On the strength of our legs, breathe four. Torso and our arms, breathe five. We're also learning how to keep calm in the midst of challenge. When you're ready, inhale, step the right foot towards the left. Exhale. Now we're going to turn to, and here we call it the happy wall, so we're going to turn to the left, to the happy wall, and towards the long end of your mat. The right foot's going to turn out, and the left foot faces forward. And this is warrior two on the right side. Bend into that right knee. And as we bend into that right knee, we're going to stretch the left arm back and the right arm forward. Hold in your position. This is warrior two. And as you're in your posture, breathe one. Look over the middle finger of that right hand. Breathe two. Everything that we do should feel good. Breathe three. The legs will get tired. Breathe four. But our breath should continue. And breathe five. Now we're going to straighten that right knee. Release the arms down. Exhaling. Turn the left foot out to the left side. The right foot faces forward. And we bend into that left knee. We reach the arm, right arm back, breathe. Left arm up and forward, looking over the middle finger of your left hand. This is warrior two on the left. Breathe, one. Just notice, two. Feel the sensation of your breath, three. Four. And breathe, five. We're going to straighten that left knee, release the arms down, inhale and exhale. Let's turn the right foot out to the right side. We're moving into extended side angles. So when that right foot turns out, we bend into that right knee, we reach the shoulders back, between, kind of squeeze them behind us, and then reach the left arm out to the side. So the right hand is on the outside of our thigh. This particular posture, when we do this, the right hand's out, we squeeze, we reach, and then you can stay right here, being strong through the legs, or that left arm can reach overhead. And we're holding, breathing, and feeling our strength. And 
bend into that left knee, breathe. This is our extended side angle. that we can still breathe and that there's an open stretch through the legs. Inhale, push up and exhale. Now. Towards the, we call that the courtyard wall, and here we are turning. Reach left arm forward, right hand to hip, and look over that right shoulder. And we're just holding steady and breathing. One, so we bend into that right knee. Three, two. That left foot can be on the mat or it can roll up on the ball of that foot. Three, three. We're holding and breathing. Four. And breathe. Five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale. Now we're going to pivot. Turn. Turn all the way to the other side of your mat, to the short edge. And here we balance. Turn for our Balancing prayer twist, hold steady, reach the right arm, breathe. Turn your torso, look over that left shoulder, breathe. Everything that we're doing, let's just breathe and take your time. Breathing in, breathing out, keeping your awareness positioned. Steady and lift. Inhale, release. And now, wide leg, forward bend, stretch. So the legs are wide. You might use your blocks here. And we're going to inhale, place the hands on your thighs. Exhale, hands to shin. Inhale and exhale, hands to blocks. Wherever you can be, lengthen, stretch down. Breathing, dropping your head down. Inhale and exhale. So for this particular position, it never matters how much you do. Can you feel supported? Inhaling and exhaling. Can you notice the sensation of stretch along the back of your body as you inhale and exhale? Make a muscle. Firm the thighs. Breathe. Lift through the muscles in your arches. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. We're going to start by shifting your hips very slightly to the right. And just notice the sensation of stretch when you do that. Breathe. Notice how this feels. When you get upside down, it should feel pretty good. Breath keeps flowing, and now when you're ready, the hips come back to center, and now the hips will go to the left, and you'll feel a very subtle stretch as you're breathing. Your breath will tell you exactly how much to do. <clears throat> Inhaling and exhaling. If you can keep your breath moving smoothly, breathing softly and rhythmically, then that's a sign from your body that whatever you're doing, yes, I like that, that works for me. Inhale, come back, center. Exhale, breathe. Bend the knees very gently, slowly roll up. Hands to the thighs of your shoes, roll all the way up. Gazing at a point that's not moving, inhale, reach the arms skyward, inhale, reach. And exhale, hands to heart, beautiful. We're gonna to turn towards the top of our mat, 
And this is where if you have your super blocks or if you have your need to place your hands on for support, we're going to step the right foot through. So I'll show a side profile here. We've got our hands on our block. The right foot steps through, the left foot is back behind us, and we're going to use the support to help create a stretch through our hamstrings, gluteals, and even, now here we go, hands on the blocks, each of us is different. And then inhale and exhale, cascade over. You can even feel a stretch through your spine. So just let the body drop down. And you lift the toes. Turn the hips first, breathe. And then if it honors your ability to breathe, we turn the torso, the chest turns to the right, breathe. And then if it's honorable to you, we look over that right shoulder, maybe up to the ceiling. The right arm can reach back, it can stay right where it was. You can reach, 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 reach. Just find a place you can breathe. This practice should feel good. We're massaging, mobilizing, encouraging the nervous system to be mobilized, stretched, stimulated, and with the focused awareness on our breath to be down regulated. We're creating calm, even in the midst of this chaos where the muscles are tired. Inhale, bring that right hand back down onto that block or chair. Now, I'm moving my block just so that you can see. Let's dorsiflex the ankle, that right ankle, meaning we're lifting the top of that right foot towards your shin and extend the toes and breathe while you feel a little extra pressure on that heel. Oh, you feel that, Petty? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing this on purpose. And so we're going to invert and evert through that ankle. And as you're doing so, you're going to notice some, some, some muscles and some things. I want this to eventually not be so uncomfortable. Some of this, our participants in our other classes, we've been doing this for the past few months, and recently the feedback was, Nydia, it doesn't hurt anymore to do that. <laughs> Bingo. That's exactly why we're doing it. Because when we can get the body to do what it was designed to do, at first, if we haven't been doing it, it's not comfortable. Now release. But once we do it, after a while, the body goes, oh, I understand. I got that. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and switch legs. So we're going to step the right foot back. Let's stretch back and do a down dog for a moment. Whoa, this is an elevated down dog. Breathe. Pressing through the arms, breathe. Feel the stretch through your torso, breathe. We're trying to make space, lengthening. Space so that all of our internal organs and our spine, and our spinal column can be able to function most effectively. Here we go. Let's step the left foot forward into our 
We call this our intense side stretch variation. We're using the blocks on purpose. If possible, straighten both legs as straight as they'll go. Breathe. Lift the arches of that left foot. Breathe. Inhale and exhale and then cascade over. Let your body drop down. And just feel that sensation of stretch. So make a muscle at the front of your thighs and lift the toes if you can, or both feet. And when you do that, I don't know if you can see this. Over Hold steady, breathe. Shift your weight. Wherever you are. Center. Here at Nidia's Yoga Therapy Studio, you never know what's going to happen. From little baby chicks in the bathroom <laughs> to 
Big giant trucks bringing compost. I like the baby chicks better. Yeah, I think we might see some more. Baby chicks. All right, here we go. Shifting your weight onto your left foot, hold steady and peel the right foot one inch or so off the mat. Breathe. Eyes gazing at a point that's not moving, hold steady. That right foot, hold. Maybe we turn that right thigh out, hold. Shoulders back and down. You can place that right foot on the inside lower leg or it can be wherever it wants to. Breathe. Shoulders back and down. If you choose, the arms will raise skyward. Choose the arms, hands will stay right at heart center. Wherever you choose, just breathe. Inhale and exhale. Steady and rhythmic. Falling over, wobbling, is actually really good practice. So that wobble, that oh, oh I'm kind of falling and then you catch yourself, that's excellent practice. The muscles have to work and learn. Let's release. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's reach the arms skyward. Exhale, bend the knees, bring the hands to thighs. Inhale, extend. Exhale, place the hands down on the mat. Move into your downward facing dog. Push the floor away, breathe. And then very gently, bring, bend the knees and bring the knees down onto the mat. So in this position now, you're on the mat. And we're going to sit your bottom back. So sit back into a child's pose. So just feel that sensation of stretch. You can cross the forearms and press the, let the forehead rest on the cross forearms. And forehead on the mat and the arms right next to your feet. And wherever you are, just allow yourself to drop into a rested position. Just allow yourself the ability to drop and breathe. Inhale and exhale. Here's the good news. When we do our yoga practices, our yoga lifestyle practices, which really include a whole lot of different things, mindfulness and awareness, are the foundation of our yoga lifestyle practices. Paying attention. We're gonna inhale and exhale and come onto our hands and knees, push the floor away, breathe. Draw the shoulders down to your pelvis. Press the back of the head and the ribs to the ceiling and we're setting up for our quadruped, four-footed position. In this position, you're pushing the floor away and breathing and you're just holding steady. And now we're going to inhale, extend the spine into a cow extension and exhale, flex round like a frightened cat. Inhale, extend, open the front side body. Exhale, flex round. Inhale, extend, open. Exhale, flex round. Inhale, extend. Now this movement, exhale, flex round. May not seem very fancy, inhale, extend, but it is a powerful, exhale, flex round. A powerful action, inhale, extend, and exhale, flex round. You're mobilizing, massaging, inhale, extend, open, curl the toes under. Let's go visit our friend, the downward dog. Push the floor away, breathe. Inhale and exhale, breathe. Just a few breaths. And now inhale and exhale, bend your knees, come back down. Let's take a moment to take rest again, child's pose, forehead down, arm resting. During our day, we can take moments of rest by stopping what we're doing and just bringing our awareness to how our breathing is going. Noticing if we're holding our breath or noticing if our breath is shallow. And we can take a moment to stop and reset and go, okay, hold on. Let me take a gentle breath in and a slow, long, deep exhalation out. It's good practice. It can really help to reset your mind and your, your spirit. <clears throat> and kind of 
help you on for the next adventure. We're coming back up onto our hands and knees into quadruped to practice our thread the needle. And so in this position, strong through both arms, shoulders to down to the pelvis, back of the head ribs to ceiling. Let's be strong through that left hand. Remember, if you're feeling uncomfortable and you're on your hands and knees, here in our studio, we, special, we really focus on bringing weight-bearing evenness between the ball of the hand and the heel of the hand, thumbs and fingers wide. But it takes a while to get that ability. Everybody in here has been doing this for a while with me, and they're pretty amazing. So do the best you can, take rest when you need to. We're gonna raise the right arm, reach it up and out to the side, and then exhale. Left arm glides underneath. Arm rest on the mat. Your It's capable of right hand on the mat. We're going to inhale, stretch the left arm up. Your abdomen. A moment of extension. Just allow your breath to move. Pressing on the mat and your thighs are perfect. 
fun. So this isn't about how Breathe four. Let your body drop down. Take the opportunity to therapeutic. Good stuff. All right, here we go. Let's take the arms right alongside your body, the back of your hands on the mat. The forehead can rest on your mat, or you can begin to, as you draw the shoulders, center back and down. We might lift the forehead a little bit, breathe. We might begin to lift the torso a little bit, breathe. And we're squeezing shoulder blades, breathe. You can stay right here or firm the thighs and raise the thighs. This is our variation of locust A. Breathe one, hold steady. Breathe two, think about opening your chest. Breathe three, squeezing between the shoulder blades. Breathe four, and breathe five. Breathe, and then very slowly release down. Once again, you can cross your forearms, put your forehead on the crossed forearms, or just turn your head to one side. Just find the position that is honorable to you. At this time, let go of all muscular effort. Come back to soft, smooth, rhythmic breath, just in case your breath kind of changed when you were doing your effort. Breathe. Contrary to popular belief, taking rest is very, very honorable. And so these moments in between where we are just letting our body drop are as important as the hard physical exercise. They're called moments of recovery. These practices are about helping to develop resilience. A very important idea that I want to plant in your mind today. Inhale and exhale. If you have the desire, you can stay resting where you are or join us for a locust bee position. The arms, the hands are going to come right next to your ribs. We draw palms flat if they can be, thumbs and fingers wide. We're going to squeeze the shoulder blades to midline back behind us. Forehead is hovering over the mat. We push through the hands and then we pull ourselves forward a little bit, just enough to lift the chest, breathe. If it's honorable, we might lift the thighs, breathe. And we're holding steady, head and neck somewhat neutral, breathe one. Locust B, breathe two. Challenges, the wrists, breathe three, and the shoulders. 
Breathe four, just do what is honorable. Breathe five, do what you can breathe with. Slowly release, inhale and exhale. This time we're gonna come up onto our elbows because we're cracking the whip a little bit. Watch out, okay, here we go. We're gonna do, one of Petty's favorite uh, practices is the forearm plank. And you can kind of see her up in that corner, that's Petty over there. Yeah, um, I know, I'm not just so. Uh, you've seen us do this uh, video with Bobby, and Bobby did a forearm plank, and uh, those of us who are aware of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, uh, may she be in the greatest of health, I hope she is at this time, um, because she actually has been known, from what I've read and heard, to do this for two minutes. Hello. So we should all aspire, right? Here we go. So in order to prepare for this, we wrap the hands. Penny had already wrapped her hands, so she's ready to go. The elbows, the forearms are pretty close to your ribs, and we draw the shoulders down to your pelvis. We look down to the mat. My thighs and my feet are on the mat. I'm gonna curl the toes under. I'm just getting them ready. And then my elbows are gonna stay where they are while I'm breathing, and I'm gonna take my forearms forward, and I'm forming like a triangle, triangle of strength. Pinkies on the mat, fingers laced, breathe. Look down to those hands, push the pinkies and elbows into the mat, breathe. Begin to peel your belly button, breathe. Off of the mat, breathe. Maybe you'll peel the hips off the mat, breathe. Your thighs are on the mat, breathe. You're pressing the back of your head and your ribs between the shoulder blades to the ceiling, breathe. Some of you who know this posture are already gonna go for it. You're either gonna lift the hips a little bit, breathe. You might raise one knee or the other, hold, breathe. It doesn't matter what you decide, but wherever you are, just breathe. So the knees can be on the mat, the thighs can straighten out. Wherever you are, you can breathe. Then you're doing the right thing. If you're kind of holding your breath, then you're not doing the right thing. Do less so that you can breathe. Slowly release and rest down. Woo! Take rest. Right now, as you're lying, resting your forehead down, go ahead and bend your right knee as far as it wants to go and invite your right heel to your right buttock. Breathe. We're just testing out the motion there. Trying also to get the hamstring muscle behind your thigh a little tired. Anybody feel that? Muscles get tired, they like to cramp, so don't freak out, just keep breathing, and you don't have to stay there. Let's straighten that right knee, switch sides, bend the left knee, draw your heel towards your buttock, hold, breathe. <clears throat> just notice, we want to, we can, you know, we're, our body's our own home gym. We've got it all, we just need to use it. Hold, breathe, now we're gonna straighten that left knee, and if you have a desire, we're going to lift your chest up and reach the right arm back. In this room, it's called the blue wall. You go back to the blue wall. And the left arm back, and we're like super people flying through the air. And if, so both arms are stretching back behind us. And then if you want to, you bend your knees and you reach your heels to your buttocks. We're not trying to hold on to the legs. We are trying to lift our chest, breathe, create a moment of extension, breathe. And still breathe, hold, breathe, breathe, and then release, fantastic. When you're ready, we're going to push up on the elbows, stretch back into child's pose, reach the arms well forward, breathe. Keep stretching the arms forward and then walk both arms to the right and breathe. Steady and rhythmic. And now walk both arms to the left and breathe. Come back center. When you're ready, come to sitting. Bring your legs out ahead of you, if you will. Sitting with your legs out in front. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. We're going to bend your right knee. This is a great time to find your straps. I lost mine. And take the strap around the ball of that left foot. Shoulders back and down. We're drawing our strength from our upper.
upper body. So this is one of the reasons we use the strap, because it extends our arm length. And then we can have a nice long torso, breathe, and then when you're ready, we'll cascade over. Just go to the place. Some of you can reach your foot, and that's fine. Just go to the place where you feel a little sensation of stretch, or a lot sensation of stretch. And more importantly, go to the place where you can breathe. Now, for those who are watching this particular video stream, it will be really important. If you like this kind of work, then you should look for us on our website, midiusyogatherapy.com. You can also look for us on the YouTube page. It's Nidia's Yoga Therapy. There's a lot of content out there. Inhale, look up. Switch sides. Let's take this opportunity for those of us who are, you know, limited in what we can in our resources. There's a lot of content, and I actually have a lot of free videos on my website. They're there as a community service. I want us to do this work. Breathe, here we go. Now the right foot is strapped and we lengthen the torso, we breathe, we press the left thigh out. And then when you're ready, drop to the position where you can lengthen and then feel that sensation of stretch. And you can breathe. Everything that we do in our therapeutic yoga practices should feel good. Everything that we do should allow us to breathe smoothly, softly, rhythmically. Because we're practicing for life. We're practicing for when things get tough. Inhale, look up. Exhale, bending your knees, both knees. And from this position, let's round into your knees. Create, turn yourself into the, the tiniest little ball that you can. Just drop your head into your knees and round your spine. And if you're here and you're rounding, that's beautiful. Just wherever you can breathe, just find that place. Now, some of you know how to roll and do so on a regular basis. And some of you might join me. I'm going to demonstrate how we um, start to learn how to roll. So if you're a roller, go for it. Do some roll. and breathing. Once you can do processes in your body. over your right shoulder.
in the chest, breathe, breathe the legs. Place the left foot down on the mat, bend the right. Strong. Into the mat, breathe. Draw the shoulders back. An engagement of the muscles. Participate in. Every four. Bend the elbows and think about placing the fingers on the mat. Breathe. And some of you who know this, we practice trying to position our hands and we call that the preparation for our backward bend. All you're doing is trying to figure out if you have good motion through your shoulders and elbows and wrists. And just breathe. And if it feels okay, you know, this is one of the ways shoulders, wrists, and elbows are good. They're healthy. They're, they got the motion. All right, we're going to release those arms. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Let's take the feet and separate them as wide as they'll go. And I'm going to ask that we dorsiflex the ankle. While the heels are on the mat, allow your thighs to drop into the center. So this is a stretch of your hips, and you might feel this in your low back. Right now, if you're feeling comfortable and you want to be a little rebellious, we're going to shift the hips left and right. So it's like you're swaying your hips to the left and the right. And I just want you to notice you're, you're massaging your pelvis and your sacrum. And you can just kind of feel a little bit of a shift and then release. And now we're going to think about that right thigh stays where it is. The left thigh is going to roll out to the side. And you can stay right here, or the left ankle will come over the outside of the right thigh for a little extra stretch. Woo! So be mindful. Just listen. This should feel good. Inhaling and exhaling. Breathing. We're just trying to feel that sensation. If you can breathe while you're doing this, you're at the right place, your right point. During our practices, our muscles may get tired, but our joints should never hurt. We actually have a t-shirt with that, one of our vintage t-shirts at Lydia's Yoga Therapy Studio. It's time to bring that one back. That was an important one. When you're ready, that left ankle, that ankle that was over the thigh comes off, the feet are still wide, we come back to center vertical. And now we're going to drop both thighs over to the other side. So feel that sensation, stretch. Both thighs drop so that now the left thigh drops into the middle, the right thigh presses out, and then if it feels okay, that right ankle will come over. 
Yeah, and we're just holding steady. So the other right angle. All right, that, mm -hmm. that's it. <laughs> Love it. So you decide, can you feel the breath? Can you notice the sensation? This should feel pretty good. Our therapeutic yoga practices are designed to mobilize every major joint in your body. And once, you, once we mobilize them, we get them. Souls of the feet together. Down as you inhale. Great way to Up over towards the right with the thighs, look over the left shoulder and breathe. So if okay. So you have the choice of using your blankets, blocks, the bit better so you all decide wherever you are yeah. feel the sensation The world looks different. And if you choose, we're doing the drop method.
to rest comfortably. Relax as you lie, resting on your mat. Position your hands or on your abdomen or chest with your elbows and your arms supported. Release all muscular effort. Just relax. With your eyes closed, relax the muscles on your face. Feel the sensation of your breath moving through your nose as you rest with your mouth closed. Settle into the awareness of your body and your breath at this time. Feel the sensation of your body being gently moved by each breath. Let the breath flow gently and smoothly during this loving kindness meditation. Begin to feel your body as you are resting. Notice what you are feeling. Be open to the experience of total relaxation. Within this meditation, where we will be cultivating loving kindness. We are all born with the ability to experience loving kindness. Loving kindness represents the natural opening of a compassionate heart to ourselves and to others. It's a wish that everyone be happy, healthy, and free from suffering. We begin this practice by developing loving kindness toward our own selves. 
allowing our own hearts to open with tenderness, to open up to our own basic goodness. Loving kindness is a natural feeling that is accessible to each and every one of us. We always have this available to us. Allow yourself to contemplate times when you have felt great love towards another. Allow yourself to rest in this feeling of open, unconditional love. and acceptance. Now begin to wish your own self well by extending words of loving kindness towards yourself. I will be simple phrases that we will use for this loving kindness meditation. You are invited to alter these words and choose whatever words or phrases of wishing loving kindness towards others that feel more comfortable to you. And now, offering these words in your mind for yourself. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Repeat these phrases in your mind, allowing the feeling of loving kindness to surround you as you rest. May I be safe. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I live with ease. Now, you can open the circle of loving kindness by bringing to mind someone who is dear to you, someone whom you care about and who has always been supporting and supportive. Reflect on this person's basic goodness, sensing what it is in particular that you love about them. In your heart, 
Feel your appreciation for this dear one and begin your simple offering. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live with ease. Repeat these phrases in your mind. Allow the feelings of loving kindness to move from deep within your heart, surrounding this person with love. Now bring into and at this let us send them loving kindness. words of loving kindness may you be happy mind Allow the feelings of loving loving kindness. You had a difficult relationship. And dislike for this person. Remind yourself to see this person as a whole. the words of loving kindness in your mind. May you be safe.
loving kindness to move from deep within your heart, surrounding this person with love. And now, a neutral person, Humans and animals living everywhere, living in awareness. be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings live to all beings. Bring this practice to a close. And rest in the energy of loving kindness that may have been generated here. Keeping your eyes closed. Place the palms very lightly over you. Begin to separate the fingers.
coming out. Yarn Sky, we're gently playing. May you be safe. May you. We'll be signing off. Do of our amazing.